the way we got in this situation is pretty simple to explain. Uh, basically, when Nixon was discovered having committed Watergate, people thought the Republican Party was washed up. But a clever staffer on uh, Nixon's, uh, in Nixon's White House came up with an idea for how to get more new Republican voters uh, to replace all the people that were turned off by the corruption that had just been exposed and perhaps save the party. His name was Lee Atwater. And he said, I know where there's all kinds of disgruntled white people. All you got to do is appeal to them uh, over their anger about the end of Jim Crow and about school desegregation and uh, about uh, the Civil Rights Act. And uh, these are the words that you'll say to, to kind of trigger them. Then we call these the racist dog whistles. And you will send a message to them that they are welcome in the Republican Party. And uh, starting in the mid-70s to the mid-80s, there was a massive change in voter registration uh, from Democrat to Republican on the part of all of these uh, racists and lowlifes and uh, ignorant people. At the same time, Trump started to have political ambitions. Now, it turns out Trump uh, has an IQ of about 73. He barely functions as an adult. If it were not for the fact that his father gave him a lot of money, he wouldn't be able to function as an adult. Trump has less money now than he would have had if he'd just taken the money he got from his father and put it in an index fund in the stock market and just let it sit. But he's gradually played around with it all these years and lost it in all his lawsuits and so forth and his six bankruptcies. And uh, it, it, he's dissipated a fortune over his lifetime. Now, he's had the Russians for the last 20 years to bail him out. But ordinary people cannot be as dumb as Trump and still function. But Trump came out onto the public stage and started talking boldly like he wanted to do things uh, politically and help the people of America. And he speaks like a third grader because that's what somebody with an IQ of 73 talks like, even if they're an adult. Linguists have analyzed his speech and they've, they've made it plain. He speaks English at a third grade level. This energized dumb people because for the first time they could understand a presidential candidate. And they said things like, oh, he speaks his mind. He's the first guy that doesn't use a bunch of, a bunch of uh, fancy words and confuse me. Um, and now I finally understand what he's saying. And of course, what he was saying was a lot of things they wanted to hear. They were the racist dog whistles. And uh, so you had a beautiful alliance be from their perspective of uh, racists and stupid people. The lower 12% of the IQ distribution corresponds perfectly to Trump's supporters. Now, these people are so intelligent that there's actually a federal statute that prohibits their induction into military service. Uh, they didn't want to have a repeat. Congress didn't want to have a repeat of the uh, McNamara's morons incident from Vietnam, which is a notorious thing you can look up on your own. McNamara's morons, it's called. Uh, basically, we had a secretary of defense who had the idea that, hey, why don't we recruit low intelligence people, send them to war and see what happens. And what happened was they died in droves and, of course, uh, things got worse. And so they didn't want that to happen again. So they actually passed a law. You're not allowed to recruit and induct into military service uh, the lowest 12% on the IQ range. Uh, but they're still allowed to vote and Trump energized them. He made dumb people think that they finally understood politics. He made people strut around proud of themselves, thinking that they had a grasp of the issues. Because they could tell on some level that Trump wasn't much smarter than they were, but there he was, a big shot. So he seemed like a champion for them. Now, of course, all these people forget that they aren't rich. They didn't have a dad hand them the equivalent of uh, $412 million. And they can't do the things that Trump does, and they can't get away with the things Trump has gotten away with. And even Trump himself is not going to get away with them indefinitely. Uh, but the stage has been set, and this is where we're at. Uh, basically, we have a fanatical core of low intelligence voters that are solidly behind Trump. They will back him no matter what he does or says because they don't care what he does or says. They just know he's their guy. They understand him. They like him. Uh, he talks to them in a way that they can comprehend. And they are fanatical in their support of him. He has given them what they see as dignity and strength. And then uh, at the other end of the spectrum are smart people from all walks of life. I actually used to be a Republican myself. I'm ashamed to admit it now, but uh, I, I know I'm not alone. I mean, millions of people who make sure that they turn out to vote against Trump uh, used to be actual Republicans because the Republican Party is now nothing but a loony bin of the very low intelligent. And there's just no way that you can, you can be associated with them at all. So now it's going to be, you know, some range of 
conservative to liberal Democrats again, except that it'll mean something different than it used to mean. I mean, th th those Democrats won't be conservative because they're uh, racist garbage people from the South. They'll be conservative because they have some other philosophy about the the role of the market or of private enterprise or something like that uh, in, in the economy. At, at any rate, uh, this is the problem we have. It's basically now just the very low intelligence versus the high intelligence and the thing is going to be decided by undecided people who don't pay any attention. People in the middle that don't pay attention to politics, uh, no matter whether the politicians are smart or dumb, they just show up on election day and try to do their best. Those are the people you have to reach. You have to get them interested. You have to explain to them what's going on. They have to be told uh, Trump is a moron and he wants to be a dictator. And he's got a million morons behind him that want him to be a dictator. We cannot let that happen.